hello guys welcome to the world of shahjan physics so today i am going to give you the lecture on nature of science so before going on introduction first of all i will is uh, tell you about the origin of the word of science so the word science comes from the greek word sciencia which means to know or which means the knowledge the knowledge of things so definition science can be defined as the study of mainly concerned with the phenomenon of physical universe any or all of natural sciences or biological sciences so the biological science and natural science natural science uh, one of uh, there are two branches of the science the one is a uh, physical science and other one is the biological science first of all we are coming on the physical science so physical science means the study of non living things and the biological science means study of living things okay right science is the study uh, science is the field of study which attempts to describe and understand the nature of the universe in whole or part so science is a uh, means uh, the purpose of science is to describe and understand the nature of the universe whole or the part of the universe okay so science is the faculty to reason out the how and why of the things they occur in the phenomenal world or the objective world basically science is the study of laws of nature and the man has developed science by observing so here uh, i'm telling you first that uh, science the study of observations and experiments got it in fact the subject has completely transformed our power or nature and the world outlook development of the modern technology is a directly outcome of the development of modern science this means we are going forward the science is also developing so nowadays the science has developed a lot so without scientific revolution the industrial revolution wouldn't have been possible so because of the scientific revolution we have revolutionized our industries it has raised human activity level by significant observations in the various fields of human existence whether its exploration of human health industrial progress agriculture developments and modern communication technologies the benefit gained from these major subjects are enormous in fact it wouldn't be wrong to say that we are living in the age of science and is a dominant factor in our day to day existence so there is a huge I mean wide applications of science in our life in surrounding everything everything surrounding us is the science is the nature and of which we are doing the observations so with our perception of mind we understand the nature and that is the what we call science so here i end up my lecture okay thank you guys and we will meet on next lecture thank you